Hello, this is a video from the course MS Access. In this video I would like to introduce first steps for planning an ERP system with MS Access. There is database and application design. In simple words, we need to know which data objects we are dealing with and what kind of processes shall be supported by the application. In this ERP system with sales and purchase we will concentrate on purchase. In purchase there are workflows that contain data objects. To make an inquiry to the supplier, receive an offer from the supplier, write an order to the supplier, get an order confirmation. Income of goods with delivery note, receive invoice from the supplier, payment of goods. Subjects as partial delivery, return shipment, accounting and storage will not be treated. Now to the data objects. We point out the main data objects in the area of purchase. There are suppliers and supplier contacts. There are inquiries and inquiry articles. The object inquiry articles is an extra object because in each inquiry there is possibly one or more inquiry articles. There is a one-to-many relation between these two objects. Incoming offers from suppliers are not regarded. We have order and order articles with one or many order articles per order possible. Incoming order confirmations are not regarded. There are delivery notes and delivery note articles. There are invoices with invoice articles and then payment with partly payment. Even for this small area there are many data objects needed and with the omitted objects the amount of data objects will be doubled. Now to the relations. All the data objects are connected to each other and I want to note a few of these relations. The offer has a connection to the inquiry and the order has a connection to the offer. It goes like this until payment. There is a network where all data objects are integrated. Forms and processes when all considerations are transformed into tables, we have a database. Now forms to work with the data can be made. With processes, the sequence of steps can be supported. For example, an inquiry can be converted into an order and passing over the data makes a delivery node. Output and reports. The data in the database can be filtered and selected for reporting. A report can show monthly orders or an invoice list. Now to learning. The basics for making these kind of applications can be learned in our courses. Have a look at the free preview lessons. Thank you for watching.